What is good everyone, my name is Guy Gasly, and today I'm bringing you a 6v6 with a passerby named Kagome. We didn't set up any tiers, Kagome just kind of saw me and said, hey, you want to throw down? And I, and I agreed. I agreed to the throw down. And, uh, so yeah, no tiers, but she definitely is bringing some, uh, hefty stuff, some good stuff, and we're not overpowering each other, so let's go ahead and get into it. I let off with, uh, Strong Jaw, as you're gonna see here, the, uh, Aerodactyl, Mega Aerodactyl. I predicted her to think I'm gonna lead off with Ferrothorn, and... I predicted her to bring out the, uh, what's it called, Mothra, Volcarona. So uh, my prediction was correct, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm gonna make him, gonna nerve him, he can't eat his crappy berries, and uh, he's gonna switch out, doesn't want to take a stone edge, of course. Gonna switch out into Ferrothorn, and that's fine with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve here, and gonna go for the stone edge, because like I said, nothing wants to take a stone edge. Not from a, not from a, a rockin' Rockin' Goatee Aerodactyl. He's extinct. He survived somehow. That's pretty impressive. So I go for the Fire Blast, and I missed the Stone Edge, of course. So I go for the Fire Blast. I don't know why I have Fire Blast and not Fire Fang on this guy, but he probably wouldn't have died anyways from it anyways. Not too sure. Probably should switch that around. So he goes for the Stealth Rocks, and that's cool with me. I predicted the Switch here. Again, he doesn't want to take another Fire Blast. So I go for my Stealth Rocks here. Fire Blast would have done nothing to this Blastoise. And... My Aerodactyl doesn't uh, want to take any water attacks here, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my own Ferrothorn to deal with this Blastoise. Oh, Blastoise. Blastoise got fat. Yeah, he got kind of big. So, uh, Rock's going to dig into me, don't really mind that. And he's going to Mega Evolve, which is fine. And he does something a little weird here. He's uh, going to go for it, an odd attack. Um, oh, what am I talking about? Of course he went for Water Pulse. So, he went for Water Pulse. Expecting to hit the Aerodactyl, which is which is of course. So I went into Ferrothorn, and that's how that worked. Uh, he goes for the Rapid Spin though, which I didn't expect. So my opponent has an advantage over me in the way that I don't have Rapid Spin support. So that that uh, I don't have that to get rid of those those hazards. So that is an issue for me. But I have the Rocky Helmet and I have the Iron Barb, so I'm gonna do some damage, and I'm gonna get the Leech Seed off on him to get some residual damage. So gonna. Gonna sap some of that, gonna eat some of that Blastoise meat. <laughs> Love it. And uh, Blastoise is gonna switch out here, pretty sure, right? Yeah, he's gonna switch out. Gonna go back into, I believe, Volcarona. Uh, and I, I, again, the Ferrothorn doesn't wanna take any hits from this. That's uh, not cool. So I went from Stealth Rock, hoping he wouldn't switch out. And then I could uh, get some, like, half of this Volcarona's HP with the Stealth Rocks. But that didn't work out in my favor too much. So I go back into Aerodactyl. Because I feel like Volcarona can't really touch me. I know he's going to go for the Quiver Dance. He knows I need to switch. So he's going to go for the Quiver Dance. Get those get those boosts. Going to just dance all up in my face. And uh, Aerodactyl, is, uh, he's going to take it. He's going to enjoy it. He's going to put some, some dollars in her panties, you know. And uh, he misses the Fire Blast, though. So I hit the Stone Edge, finally. And that is a dead Volcarona. No question about it. Volcarona is going down. Pretty gracefully. Just uh, did a dance, so went down pretty gracefully. Gonna send out a Blastoise, and once again, I do not want to take any hits from a Blastoise. So I go ahead and I switch out again to, I believe, Ferrothorn. Yes, that would seem like the best plan. And uh, I didn't take any pictures of my opponent's team, so this kind of hindered me. And I always forget to do that, so I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they do that, but it would give you a little bit more of an edge. So he goes for the Aura Sphere, and that is almost gonna take me out. So come at me, doesn't want to want him to come at him anymore. He's he's kind of done. So he's like, okay, Murka, you gotta get in there and take them fighting attacks. Now Murka here is uh, especially defensive, and uh, Murka is beautiful. Murka is just gorgeous. So he's gonna take the Aura Sphere pretty well. Now uh, I went for the Roost here, expecting him to go ahead and Rapid Spin because, but he goes ahead and I think he switches out. Yes, he switches out here. Expecting me to Brave Bird or something and to do a lot of damage to him. Um, which, I guess he wanted the Ferrothorn to, to do the Iron Barbs, or the, yeah, Iron Thorns? Iron Barbs? Iron Barbs to him, plus the recoil damage from Brave Bird. Definitely would have killed me. Um, but not the case here. So I'm going to go into Roost and get my leftovers. And he's probably seeing their leftovers thinking, what the heck is this thing? And I, uh, this is where I get kind of greedy. So I start bulking up, I start working out, flapping my wings, getting buff getting uh, ripped. Murka's getting strong. Murka doesn't care about Ferrothorn's Leech Seed. And 
the, really Ferrothorn at this moment I thought well he can't really do anything to me he can't uh, use a grass move steel moves aren't gonna aren't gonna hurt as much since his attack isn't too high and uh, I have roost so no worries I can totally deal with this and I'm raising my defense with bulk up I'm gonna set up all day and eventually just sweep on this fool you know what I'm saying so gonna bulk up again and I believe I bulk up a total of three times probably yeah, he hits me with the power whip, gonna go and whip me, and I'm like, well, dude, come on, man, I'm not into that, and uh, not gonna do anything to me. Not even a scratch, not even scratching this bird. And Ferrothorn's just gonna stare me down, eat some of my meat with that leech seed, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for another bulk up. And he's getting pretty healthy now from that leech seed, but I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go for one more, and then I'm gonna start sweeping. I'm gonna start aer aerial acing everything, and I have aerial ace in return as my attacks here. But then he goes to Jarrow Ball, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, I can take a Jarrow Ball, no problem about it. And then, uh, oh, it was a crit. Now, I'm not sure if that really mattered, but I have a feeling it absolutely did. So I go into Clotzer, and Clotzer with his uh, shiny red Zoidberg shell is going to come out, and he's going to go for the Aura Sphere. And that's a one dead Ferrothorn. He's not going to take that too well. So Ferrothorn is gone. That's a big threat out of the way. Makes me happy. And he's going to go ahead and sound out Snorlax. Now, Snorlax is uh, scary to me because Snorlaxes are always monsters. No matter what spec or what you kind of want them to be, they always just take every hit. Doesn't really matter. Go for the Aura Sphere. I know it's not stab, but it doesn't do too much. It doesn't do enough to make me happy. So he reloads and returns, and that does like all my... He just slaps my, cl my crab in the face. He's like, please get in the pot. And Clotzer's like, nope, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. So go on to Ferrothorn and take some stealth rock, barely live it. I was hoping he'd go for another attack so I get the iron barbs and the rocky helmet, but unfortunately I think he expected that, so he's, so she, I should say she, it, it's been a guy, been a girl this entire time, but who knows, I mean, I know a lot of guys who roll, uh, roll uh, female characters. So it goes for the ice beam, and that is definitely gonna take me out, no doubt about it. Ferrothorn, did your job, good job, come on back. Gonna put out Clodzer, and uh, here I barely survived the Stealth Rocks, so that that's fun. And I go for the what is it? The Ice Beam now, and I hit it. And you know, I was I was kind of berating myself at this moment. I was thinking well, maybe I should have went for Water Pulse instead of Ice Beam. Uh, I was actually gonna be mad at me. like I thought I wouldn't kill it, but of course I did. Doesn't have the best defenses, and Ice Beam is super effective, so that is cool. Now I'm lo I'm Choice Scar, so I'm locked into my Ice Beam. And I can't really switch back in because of South Rock, so I might as well stay in and die. Go on to Klotzer, and uh, pretty much the turning point of this game was me losing that uh, Braviary that quickly. I think uh, if it wasn't for that, I probably could have swept. Maybe. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's a few things that are faster. Maybe I couldn't sweep. Probably not. <laughs> but I like to believe that I could have. So Strong Jaw is going to come back in after he dies. And I missed the Stone Edge, which is a real shame. I think it might have killed. Stone Edge is so powerful, especially coming from a Mega Aerodactyl. I think it would have done quite a bit. But unfortunately, it does not. And Aerodactyl goes down with its majestic goatee. Now, I sent out King Fawns, but uh, surprise, it is not actually King Fawns. This is the Zoroark. And this was kind of... I put him here to kind of uh, bait out the... Eventually bait out the Alakazam. But unfortunately, it didn't work. And I thought he would go for the uh, rapid spin here. And I thought he was doing that just maybe just in case he needed to bring in Alakazam, then he could uh, it wouldn't take damage and he could retain his focus sash and whatever. But then I thought about it, like, whoa, folk, you know, Alakazams have magic guard, so I'm really dumb there. I should have just went for an attacking move right from the beginning. I should have went for Dark Pulse right from the start. But I don't. Now, if I would have went for Dark Pulse from the start, I would have killed Blastoise. And then this Focus Blast, uh, it doesn't kill, he takes it like a champ, but I might have survived this Earthquake if it wasn't for the um, substitute damage on myself. Maybe. I think I might have. Can never be too sure. But Muck Fainan, my Zorark's name is Muck, I don't know why, but he's, he's yeah, sporting the Muck name, doesn't give a Muck, you know? Alright, so now the real King Fawns, hey, he comes out and... Uh, King Fawns doesn't really have much of a fight here, but he's going to Earth Power here. But see, if I, I could have probably killed the Snorlax with uh, uh, Zoroark, and then gotten one Dark Pulse off on that Alakazam to lower to get rid of the Focus Sash. Or if he even has a Focus Sash, I'm not really sure. 
But unfortunately, Alakazam is faster than my Nato King, and that is a dead poison type. Nato King is super effective. So as you can see, uh, Greed is, is was the main player here. I lost to Kagome. Good fight, Kagome. Loved it. It was fun. But uh, that was the end of it, and we I was one one. And so that's that's the that's the main point of, th of that episode. Just don't be too greedy, and uh, yeah, just don't be greedy. And so if you're if you're not too greedy, if you're not feeling too greedy after that, and you learn your lesson, uh, go ahead and be nice and share some likes. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you like this one, and get ready for more because Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is coming out right around the corner, and I plan on playing uh, playthroughs of that and Pokemon battles and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. As well as I'm thinking about doing like some other shows, like uh, uh, maybe some playthroughs of other games that are coming out. Anyways, uh, enough with that. I might do something uh, explaining more of that later. Thanks, guys. Thanks you for watching, and I appreciate it. Bye.